guys tomorrow and Sunday is Snook Derby boats are all loading there in the gully just north of the history map and it's interesting launches in there up there over there uh, we saw with CJ JJ Denison yesterday it can get hairy Patricia Estuary Beach launch site, Isi Mangalisa Wetland Park, South Africa. This is extreme boating. Five star on the launch pad being pushed. In the distance is Maverick looking for somewhere to offload. But Maverick Stella. Five star is floating nicely. But also cutting across the sandbank there. I hope it's enough water for him. He's got an ugly one to deal with. Oops. He's got to add enough water. I jerked the camera. Sorry guys. Beautiful launch barrent. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Next one on the launch pad is John Deere Jr. They're still getting everything ready. I think it's a 19, 19 foot yelp cat. Camera switch off for the push of John Deere Jr. Junior Falcon. As I said, I think it's a 19 foot yelp cat. Won many competitions here in St. Lucia so far. Especially, I think the Snoop Derby is one of the that he features very well he found his line, he's happy with his gap he's chosen, he's on the power Four-stroke motors on the back. Suzuki's for sure, but I don't know what the horsepower is. Ugly ones in the sandbank. He's pushing more into the gully. He's not going to eat sand, that's for sure. But what is those ugly ones going to do with him? Oh, he's very nice light there. Got his timing right, he's right through a foamy, 45 degrees to the north. Well done. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Stella is very, very far south. He's gonna oh yeah, yeah. straight Kaylin nicely to park the boat to reverse side first. Also getting stiff in the legs for those actions, huh? Not a youngster anymore. Very, very shallow at the moment. Nope. Looks like he's also coming north. Wife dancer just arrived.
very very shallow Sand bank. It's the shallowest on that side of the sand bank. Twenty-two foot yaw cat, two fifty or two one fifty four stroke Suzuki's on the back. That boat flies. It runs very very stable with the counter rotating props. Turns on the dime. Comes right into the channel, into the gully. It's quite open in front of him. And he's a nice launch experience showed right there well done happy hunting enjoy the day wave dancer needs to get off the trailer yes the old lady slide trailer slides out from underneath the old lady no problem I was admiring the beautiful sunrise and most uh, wave dancers lawn uh, push but as normal it will be a very uneventful Leon and Andres a second is a lifetime to them they've got all the T's crossed and the I's dotted when it comes to the, the time management here and the launching site people that can think in a fraction of a second make life-changing decisions 9.3 meter cat, a lovely hole we've seen it survive many many bad waves sandbanks shallow waters wave dancer on the power Nicely done Leon, happy hunting, I hope Poseidon fill your hatches with great great cat. Wiseman bringing the tractors already. Let's do the hookup video. There's the push plate right between the motors. This one is different from the other ones that I've showed before. That's a hookup. Wiseman pushing, Free Spirit 1, which is a 8.3 meter carry cat, two 204 stroke Suzuki's on the back. He's just waiting for that short dump to wash through, otherwise, you push at the wrong time, the boat can turn sideways. Beautiful push there, Wiseman. Free Spirit 1 is floating nicely. Come sit by me. They've got a gully here that they must cross the sandbank straight in front of them. There's no turning. 
no running away there's a uh, quite a few nasty ones standing up on the sandbank at the moment as the tide pushes the size of the waves changes about every 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes Walter is now waiting for the sets to wash through and I think the one coming now is the last one in the set I didn't pay attention to them so I'm just guessing here now Walter is going a little bit more south Okay, we relocated the camera Some interesting launches happening here I'm gonna have to do a battery swap after this launch. Let's get the camera back open so long. And Asterix is arriving here on our shoulder. The 21 foot VCAT. Is still abiding his time there. I think he's, he's gonna line himself up. That was the last one in the tip that I counted. Couple, couple of more coming through all of a sudden this is an interesting launch <laughs> I'm quiet when the launches get interesting Walter is turning around yes we'll have to punch a couple of foamies if he wants to get over the sandbank and that can turn into a nice splash over from those little rascals standing up so suddenly He's counted that one as the last one. Nope, there's one big one. He's turning around. There's a big one that just stood up behind that one. I thought he was going to make a run for it. A lot of different moves that has to be taken out here today. Skipper must know the maneuvers. And Petronella with the TNC is arriving. Well, I'm getting excited from Tien's likes. <laughs> He's riding his boat. He makes for nice footage. He's still hanging back. Free Spirit One is still hanging, hanging back. find any gap yet look at them was closing up okay he's going 45 to the north yeah there's nice gaps there oh, it's closing up in front of him he's turning east is he gonna work his way back south some ugly ones that standing up in him especially that one coming is he gonna get the saddle he made the saddle good choice Walter experience showed there Happy fishing, enjoy the trip. May Poseidon fill your hatches with great, okay, great that's CJ that's been pushed there, and I haven't changed the battery, so we might run out of battery power. A CJ is a 7.4 meter rapid cat with two 154 stroke Suzuki's on the back. Father, mother, and the oldest, four years old. Yesterday CJ had a rough launch 
made a lot of right decisions and the rapid coat carried him through look at that thing go yes also a beast of a machine the only rapid cut launching here in St. Lucia he's turned east did he find his gap? nope it's closing up in front of him he has to take it oh he got through a saddle well John JJ happy hunting enjoy the day Mons on Asterix a very um, oh, yeah, I can't find any words a lot of experience here He's a veteran skipper here in St. Lucia. The surf now is in the type of conditions where what I call monster sprinting asterix is. He rides rides the boat, nose light, and um, the boat tail walks quite a bit. And sometimes he buys some airtime. And it's exciting launches because Pietro Nella is here and Shagan releases here both. All three boats that make for interesting launches. Seasoned veteran is the English word that I was looking for. Thank you. I don't know who bought me some English airtime, but thank you. Much appreciated. Mans is a seasoned veteran here in St. Lucia Estuary launches. I think 40 years plus has been launching here. And he's going to run for it. No, you're running right into a gap. Almost an asterisk over there. Ah, okay. Be ah, beautiful launch, Mons. Happy hunting. I was so sure you're going to print us an asterisk, but anyway. Nice soft launch. Happy hunting. Tians van Wijk on Pietronella. A 22 foot V cat by tri, bo tri boating. For some reason the 22 foot are nose heavy, you can't figure it out. Still a beautiful vessel, the v A lot of people don't like them, I love them. If I see their maneuverability and the surf and the how they handle the beaches. I can't call them Tien's old, but well, shouldn't you have a protege you're taking with you on the vessel? Lone Ranger, hey, they don't make the skippers like they used to anymore. Let's just get the viewfinder, there's an ugly one standing up on Umtiens' shoulder. Two 144 stroke Suzuki's on the back of that magnificent vessel. He's going to turn around, look at how sharp he turns that, but it's almost on his shoulder. As he turned around, it opened up behind him. Jürgen, die ist da in das Grüet, Uem. And it's still standing up, Uem. Is he gonna make it? Yes, he made it. Yes, this is my jump and I'm out of focus. Oh, no. Thanks, Uem, die ins. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Sporting shack sticks. The carbon fiber outriggers and the boat's name Shag and Release. <laughs> I told Wiseman is right, Wiseman is now just. Uh, Waiting for the best chance to push him. From the back of the tractor, Weissman can decide when is the best time to choose to push the boat. Two 144 strokes of Suki's, and if he didn't have that momentum, the boat would have turned sideways. Well done, Weissman. That was supposed to be your gap. Motor trim for a very nose light boat. It's 
keeping it centered in the channel with the reverse and now the seats is coming free and today the seats makes the extra all of a sudden a back break and it's difficult to count them some seats are six some seats are eight they know no they're not constant today as the tide is pushing Ah, and there's some big ones washing through again just now and there, there's the flat punch that foamy around 45 to the north and you will find your saddles and he's chosen his gap it's gonna close up in front of him Yes, he's gonna have to punch it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That was beautiful timed. It was just the foamy that he had to punch through. It makes for a nice video. People are wet. We all had a chuckle. Nobody is hurt. No equipment. That's free spirit too with Captain Sky could see. 8.3 meter bad cat per day. Stop it now. Do 204 strokes Suzuki's on the back part date. This guy making sure his boat is just warmed up. He doesn't want them to run in the choke. He wants he needs all the horsepowers he can get to master up today. The speed is oh some shed is coming out here. Yeah? Speed is not so much of a es the essence as the acceleration. But it's still in reverse. And he found his gap 45 to the north and he's running for it. Slowing down. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at those ugly ones on his shoulder. He's going to run a lot north. And now he has to turn into them. Is he going to run more north? He worked his way behind that one. It's another one. Oh, that for me he could have punched through. He's going more north. He has to turn into them. He found a saddle. Big one in front of him. Nope, he's right in. Ah, it's a nice one there. Thank you Sky, that was quite a nice launch. Happy well watch. Definitely not least. Advantage Charter 1, 9 meter Ben Cat. 2250 V6 4 stroke on the back. Wiseman has to make sure he gets the short and bright with that vessel. It turns sideways very, very easy. But he's got the momentum right, he's got the angle right and the vessel is floating nicely. Young Captain Sean I think it's Mansfield. He's from Shelley Beach. He's been skipping now for three weeks here in St. Lucia and he's done doing a great job of it. He's got the patience and the skills to, to work the sets so that he runs for it. Is he gonna run himself into a gap? Oh damn yes. No accent footage here, Sean. Happy well watching, enjoy the trip. Here's the last back break, yes.